welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today we're going to be doing our last cash stuffing of April. If you guys are new here, I do cash stuffings every single week and show you guys a glimpse into my financial life. If you like that type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow along on my journey. So let's just go ahead and get right into our cash envelopes as we normally do. Last week was not a super spendy week because I was back home with my family visiting. It was incredibly lovely to see them and just be able to hang out for a whole entire week. That's why I love working from home so much is like I could just take my laptop to my parents' house and just work there for a whole entire week and still be able to visit with them and see them, especially since they live so far from where I live. So, but I am glad to be back and kind of into my routine. Um, I will say I haven't like looked at my budget or looked at um, anything related to financial things, I guess you should say, um, for like a week or so. So it's nice to be able to cash stuff again and actually be on top of things because I feel like I haven't been the best about it. So starting off with food, we're putting 130 into food. So we're going to do 20, 40, 60, 80, one. And then we're going to take out 10, 20, and 30 to be a total of $130. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 110, 120, and 130. I feel like when I went back to see my family, I ate so bad. So I'm really trying this week to meal prep and eat healthy and eat a lot of vegetables and cut down on carbs and sweets because when I do all of that, I just, I don't feel like my best self. Um, so that's been a focus for me this past week. Next up is stock up and we're putting $5 in stock up. I think we have some money left over, $10 or actually 15, so that's pretty good. So we have five, 10, 15, and 20. I can almost guarantee that I'm going to need to go to Costco because I just haven't gone in quite a bit. So we have $20 there that I'll probably buy one thing from Costco, but it'll probably last me like a couple of months. So there you go. Next up we have spending. We're putting $10 in spending. I did spend my money out of that envelope there. I actually had to buy some supplements and I didn't have enough money in my health envelope to pay for those. So I just took some money out of spending to be able to pay that off in full. Next up we have household and that is getting $5. And I do actually need some dryer sheets, I think, and I think a couple of cleaning supplies. So I need to go to the um, store and get some of those, probably Walmart, because they have the best deals, in my opinion, on like cleaning supplies. So we have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, and 45 total in household, which is more than enough to cover it. Oh, and I'm also out of my scrub daddies. If you guys don't use a scrub daddy, definitely recommend you do. They're my absolute favorite. And they also have like a little smiley face on them. So it just radiates positivity, but they're my favorite for cleaning. And I actually got them at Costco last time for a great deal. So if you're in the market for a scrub daddy, check out Costco. Next up we have health and we are putting $10 in health because I did deplete this envelope completely. Next up we have nails and we are putting $20 in nails because as you guys can see, I was not lying about picking off my nails. I did it yet again. So my nail appointment is actually scheduled for this week to fix this mess. And I think I actually want to do like a cute design this time because I haven't in a while. And frankly, I've just been feeling like a little bit down this past week. So I think that'll spark some serotonin in me. So in nails, we have 20, 40, 50, 60, and 65, um, which should be enough to pay for it. If I get a design, it actually might be a little bit more. So if anything, I'll just draw for my spinning envelope and use that for the week. Next up, we have makeup and we are putting nothing in makeup this week because we do have a good bit. You guys would be so proud of me. I didn't buy anything during the Sephora sale, which I'm very proud of myself. Um, let me know if you guys bought anything or if you got any good steals there, but I was glad that I restrained myself and didn't give in to the shopping urge. So we have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 total in makeup. So we are all set there. I would actually like to try a new foundation because I use the, I think it's Neutrogena Healthy Skin and I like it, but I feel like I could find one that's a little bit better, maybe just a tad bit more coverage but also still be glowy. So if you guys have like any drugstore recommendations, 
that fits that kind of criteria, let me know. Preferably drugstore, if you use high-end, just let me know and I'll look at the price for it and see. Next up, we have Buffer. We're not putting anything in Buffer this week. We have nothing going back to bank, so we are all set for our cash envelopes. And now we are moving on to our sinking funds. All right, and you guys commented some really, really great shops in my last video, because I was asking about where you guys buy your envelopes. And thank you guys so much for commenting. I got some really great ideas. So I think in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to order some new ones and hopefully kind of have like a new setup. I do love these little covers. So I think I'm still gonna keep these, but maybe just swap these out for something new and fresh. All right, starting off with hair. We're putting $20 in hair. And I actually have it on my to-do list to, oh, and there is a hair. So that's really fitting. <laughs> I find my hair in every, everywhere. It's like, I, I like vacuum the floors and I feel like it's just like 50% my hair. Um, but I am going to schedule a hair appointment for I think like two weeks from, from now so I can at least get a little bit more money in this envelope. But it's just getting so heavy and I feel like it looks a little bit moosey now. So now is the time. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, and 135, which should be enough. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and schedule the appointment, but I always like to just, I don't know, add a little bit more just in case. Next up we have aesthetics and that is going to be getting $5 this week. So we have a total of five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and $30 in aesthetics. And also guys, I posted that one vlog, but I really want to get back and then like kind of vlog a little bit more. Um, so let me know like what kind of content like you guys would like to see personally in the comments below, because I obviously want to create something that you'd enjoy watching. So definitely let me know. Next up we have Christmas. We're putting $20 in Christmas. And these 20s are so fresh, I love it. All right, so we have a total of one, two, 220, 240, 260, 280, 3, 320, 330, and 335. And I'm really considering instead of swapping out my bills and putting it in the envelopes, or in the envelopes, putting it in the high yield savings account for every 500, I'm considering doing it for every 100 just because I'd like to earn that interest every single month, especially with the APY so high right now with Ali Bank. So I am considering it. Let me know what you guys do. Also, I don't really like having this much cash in my house because I just scared this morning because I was looking for my sinking funds envelope and I usually put it in one spot in my house and I, I put it in a different spot this time. I was like, oh my goodness, did someone steal my sinking funds envelope? It, it would have been absolutely tragic. So now I'm like, uh, I don't know. I think I need to put some of this into the bank. Next up we have gifting. We're putting $5 in gifting and Mother's Day is actually coming up. So I do need to compile something and send this over to my mom. So we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, and 70. So just a little something like, um, a card mom if you're watching this don't listen to this but like maybe like a card or just like a little something that I can send her that way she has something to open on Mother's Day next up we have car and we're putting ten dollars in car I do need an oil change probably in the next month or so I feel like I've been saying that for like a few months now but I actually do need an oil change very bad so that is what is currently on the radar. So car, we have five, 550, 560, 570, 580, 585, 590, 595, and 600 total. Oil changes for my car are usually around like the $100 mark. So we should be set there whenever I need to get an oil change. Next up, we have vacation. We're putting $20 in vacation and I'm really proud of myself for making this a focus because I feel like this envelope has grown a lot in the past few months. Um, so on vacation, we have one, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 260, 270, 280, and $290. So we're almost to that $300 mark. I have a trip coming up in June and also in July. It is kind of like a family trip with my boyfriend's family. So in actuality, I shouldn't have to pay too, too much because we're splitting it with a lot of people. So 
hopefully it's not like a thousand dollars. I honestly need to check with him and make sure that I'm like budgeting correctly for this, but I think it should be fine. Next up we have luxury and we are putting $5 in luxury. And, and I really do want a cute, like small little shoulder bag. Do I need one as like Louis Vuitton or Prada or YSL? No, but I do want like a cute little one. Um, Cause I have a handbag that I use that you can throw over your shoulder, but it's like a bucket bag. It's very large. I love something for like going out on the town or like to dinner or something. And I feel like those are really in style right now. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Hopefully within like $50, <laughs> so nothing crazy. So luxury, we have one, two, 250, 255, 260, 265, 270, 275, and $280, almost to that $300 mark in a luxury. All right, next up we have business and we are going to be putting $6 in business. And yes, I put $6 in there, not five, because I had a few ones in here and I honestly just kind of want to like round it out. So when I do a bill swap, it's just a little bit easier and I don't have these ones just sitting in this envelope. So in business, we now have 20, 30, 20, 30, 30, oh my goodness. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, one, two, three, four, five. So 65 total in business. I have a lot of envelopes, so I honestly feel like it's going to be more money than that, but We'll see, I might, next week I might need to put a little bit extra in there to make up for that. Next up we have membership and we are putting $20 in subscriptions. I'm really proud of myself. I just went through and canceled like three subscriptions, actually four that I didn't know that I had. One was for Hulu, didn't even know I had a Hulu subscription, but I was going to cancel it and they were like, okay, well here's this trial offer of six months for only $2.99. I was like, okay, like that works because there are a couple of shows that I want to watch on Hulu. And I feel like that was such a good deal. So <laughs> if you have any sort of subscriptions that you're thinking about canceling, just kind of like look into it and see if maybe they'll give you like a trial offer instead of canceling. So membership, we have $25. Now the key here is whenever that trial offer is over to cancel it <laughs> because that's where they get you. And that's probably why they do this in the first place for forgetful people like me. Next up, we have house. We're putting $5 in house this week. Right, so we are, we have a total of one, two, 205, 210, 215, 220, 225, 230, 235, six, seven, and eight. So 238 in house. Next up is tax, and honestly, it is our last one. So we are putting $10 in tax. As I told you guys, I did file my taxes, so that's exciting, yay. But this year, I want to put at least like a little bit towards taxes each week, just in case something comes up, because I only got a $98 tax return, and I also had a job change last year. So I feel like there's just so many variable factors that I don't know what's going to happen with my taxes. So just in case I wanna put like at least like $5 each week extra to like try to make up for some of that in case something does happen. And if it doesn't happen, then I can just take that money back and kind of treat it as like a bonus. So in tax, we have one, 110, 115, 116, 117, and 118 for the next year. But that is it for today's cash stuffing. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Again, let me know if you enjoyed today's video down in the comments below, but I will see you guys next time. Bye.